Outdoors, and I'm uh, coming to you with a product review. It'll be my first video besides my introduction video, so I uh, figured I'd come to you with a review since we're waiting on hunting season. I've been doing a little bit of fishing, but haven't been able to get much on tape, so waiting for a good opportunity for that. Uh, so this is about the, this is a review video for a deep diving crankbait that I've watched them, I've watched pros fish with them and stuff on TV. So I decided I'd pick one up. Uh, I've watched them catch some hogs on TV, bass, uh, largemouth bass. So me and my dad the other day, uh, last weekend, went to Patoka Lake here in southern Indiana. And uh, it's summertime, kind of late in the summer. So uh, we were trying to use these deep diving crankbaits in deep water to, uh, and, you know, kind of trying to find some riffraff, rock piles and stuff to track them bass that are trying to stay cool, but they're still got to feed. So, uh, well, I guess we can talk about the good stuff first. Uh, I just want to let you know that my review videos are not just going to be good reviews. It's, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not just going to give you the good stuff and leave out the bad stuff. Uh, so I'm going to give you the bad stuff and the good stuff. But I'll, I'll give you both on the product. Uh, sadly, this one was a do not buy product. Uh, this is going, it's going to be what the review video is going to be about. Uh, don't buy this crankbait, sadly. I've seen it working for the pros and stuff, but you know I almost kind of wonder how much of that is for show on some of them. TV channels like, uh, or on some of those TV shows like Scott Martin Challenge, I have seen him flat out catch some hogs on these baits. And it's not that I, I just didn't catch any fish, I can live with that, and that's not all got to do with the bait. But, so, uh, well this is the Goon, made by River to Sea, which is a good company, they make good baits. Uh, this is actually the Scott Martin edition, and... I'm not sure on what the color name was. The packages are kind of confusing. Uh, I don't have it anymore. But this is a 14 foot diving crankbait. And it just, I mean it looks really good. It's, they've got it to where it looks all scarred up so it's not super shiny, but it's also got scarred look to it. Uh, I mean everything, I mean, it wasn't a broken, messed up crankbait or nothing. I'm looking at it and it, I mean it was a, perfectly fine crankbait uh, so I tie it on and I'm working it uh, in plenty enough water I mean it was like 30 foot of water where I was working it and uh, the whole time coming through the water I was watching my line it was just kind of spinning while it's coming through the water and it got even worse as it was getting to the boat I mean these things are heavy you can flat out wing them things across the lake uh, so I get just the whole time it's spinning. So I'd get it and make sure it wasn't nothing messed up, fouled up on the line or anything. And it was and none of the times it was, but every time it was just spinning. And then whenever it would come up, it would just really start spinning something awful. And then a couple times, and it started really getting bad. Uh, it was going, it'd be spinning like that, and then about halfway back to the boat, it would pop up out of the water, and then kind of want to mess around on top of the water then I have to stop and start reeling and it would dig back down into the water again so I mean that's just a complete product fail right there uh, it's got real nice hooks on it I told you I would give you the good features about it real sharp hooks they're the river to sea hooks uh, the weighting and rattling system inside of here is the tungsten series or the, the tungsten system my bad uh, and which is, that's a great uh, weight and rattling system and I figured it would be I figured this was gonna be a real great crankbait I told my dad when we got there I said I'm gonna beat you because I've got the magic ticket this is a uh, if you order it online it is a $13 crankbait if you buy it in certain stores I actually think it is like 15 or 16 dollars so I mean it's a expensive crankbait but I would not, I would not buy one if I were you. I bought this one. I really regret buying it. I wish I would have just stuck with the Rapala deep diving crankbaits that 
me or my dad have never had a lick of problem with. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to say. I'm just going to say don't buy one. They didn't work right. And uh, I, I was very disappointed with this product. Uh, so, yeah. I, I uh, just got to give this one a thumbs down. Don't buy this product. So that's that's it for my first review video. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, and God bless. And yeah, just don't buy this. Stick with Rapala. So thanks for watching.